Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I will be doing another Destiny 2 video and today we discuss the feedback it seems Bungie has received since announcing the three new pinnacle weapons coming to season 5 next week. One in particular there has been a kind of overreaction too but that's it people is it an overreaction today we discuss that but before we go any further guys if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button and if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe okay so yesterday was the weekly twab within the twab bungie spoke of three new pinnacle weapons to chase in season five the Breakneck Gambit Auto Rifle, my favourite of the three. The Loaded Question Fusion Rifle, this comes from the Vanguard. And the Mountain Top Grenade Launcher, which is a kinetic weapon from the Crucible. Now, the first two weapons aside, the uproar is over the Kinetic Grenade Launcher. People already after seeing this and what it does are questioning Bungie's ability to listen to the community's feedback. Okay, so first let's take a look at the grenade launcher and this is what Bungie say about this weapon. The mountain top lightweight grenade launcher, a kinetic weapon. The mountain top's unique perk is micro missile. The weapon fires in a straight line and has a massively increased projectile speed. In addition to the above benefits, the projectile instantly detonates on the environment instead of bouncing like a traditional grenade launcher, unless you have sticky grenades selected. This weapon was created for a few reasons. Other than the malicious birthright, we haven't created any new lightweight grenade launchers since Forsaken. In general, it's a pretty underrepresented weapon type. This gave us an opportunity to explore it as a pinnacle crucible weapon and add more variety to the mix of what you'll use and have used against you. The feeling of getting a direct hit for that instant kill is satisfying. So the weapon was built to support it but give it more options. It's also the only lightweight grenade launcher with sticky grenades. For those of you who have more of a tactical approach to the crucible. And this weapon is obtained people via a crazy quest which you guys will see on screen now. So what's the issue with this weapon? Well to me and what I've been seeing is people stating grenade launchers are already a pain in the ass to deal with in PvP. Complaints have been made numerous times by many many folks to a point where there is no way Bungie haven't seen said complaints about the balancing of grenade launchers. I'm also seeing people state Bungie clearly ain't listening going forward and this proves that. I mean my Twitter feed is filled with people stating this, claiming it will be a massive mistake, it will ruin PvP, blah blah blah. And to be honest guys, I kinda see where they are coming from in a worst case scenario for sure. But the only details we have on this grenade launcher are what's stated here. Yes, it shoots in a straight line, meaning zero curve or drop off. And yes, the projectile speed has been increased. And yes, it does explode upon impact. And yes, I believe from what we are seeing here and what we're seeing Bungie state, it's a one hit kill if you get a direct impact with it. Okay, I can see exactly what people are thinking. But on the other hand, we obviously don't know the drawbacks to such a weapon. People look at the benefits and forget about the downsides. How many grenades per clip does this have? Could be one. What's the reload speed like? Could be slow. How many grenades can it hold at once in reserves? What's the aim assist like? Does it have a damage over range fall off? I actually see there being more downsides to using such a weapon than benefits from using it. And for this I'm on the fence about this weapon. Yes for sure if you come across a full team using this that will be pretty damn annoying. But if you come across a full team using the Lunas Herald and not forgotten the Bygones, the Ace of Spades, even the Fighting Lion, any weapon for that matter can have the same annoyance effect. The mountain top grenade launcher is definitely a sticky situation for Bungie here though. Even if it turns out to be garbage the pinnacle crucible weapon could be installed much more. Like a one off sniper rifle kinetic with reduced flinch and an epic perk to add the cherry to the cake. That's in my opinion what most people wanted to see here and well expected but Bungie gave us a grenade launcher. Now to be honest grenade launchers in my opinion are annoying but the heavy variant should be that is not even questionable. But weapons such as the Fighting Lion, in my opinion, are absolute garbage. Might be fun to prat about with, but against real opposition, we don't actually stand a chance. Same with the Malicious Birthright, it's not really a viable weapon to use every single game. And to be honest, I don't think the Mountain Top will be either. 
And because of this, I am kind of annoyed at Bungie because this could have been so much more, like I said, in a sniper rifle kinetic weapon, which everybody wants with reduced flinch. That would be absolutely perfect. So have Bungie made a mistake here and making a man's top grenade launcher the crucible pinnacle weapon? I believe they have, but not for the reason of it being an annoyance in PvP, for the reason of it could have been a better weapon altogether. Now if I had to mention any of these weapons being a nuisance in PvP, it actually wouldn't be in a mountain top, it would be the loaded question fusion rifle. Now the most annoying thing in all of PvP for me right now, and I can't remember being so annoyed with a weapon, and that weapon is the Telesto. The thing is an absolute monster, so fun and easy to use, absolutely destroys and is a viable weapon. Hence why it's so popular right now, the weapon is what many would consider being a little OVP, especially for a special weapon you can use more or less an entire game. I personally think the Telesto should be moved to that heavy slot and maybe given a slight buff because it is a then a heavy weapon. But hey, the buff is an option, it's still a beast either way. But this Alesto being a weapon you can use from the get-go in a game of PvP is just crazy. And it's dawned upon me that the Loaded Question Fusion Rifle won't be much different. The Loaded Question is the new Vanguard Pinnacle weapon and how it's obtained you can see on the screen now. So this Loaded Question's uh, special perk is called a Reservoir Burst. When the battery is full, your next burst deals additional damage and causes the enemies to explode on death. So it sounds like it could indeed be a monster, yeah it doesn't leave projectiles all over the damn place that can cause the same damage whether you are 2 foot away from the enemy or 200 foot away from the enemy. Those same projectiles that stick to any surface, yes they are mean as heck. Yes this weapon doesn't have them, but answer me this, how many times do you actually die to these projectiles now? I mean I used to a bit but now I'm fully aware of that sound they make and to check the surrounding areas. I haven't died to one in ages but the initial impact of Telesto, that's a different story. It seems like even if one of those projectiles stick to you, it almost kills you. So having a couple stick to your ass, you don't stand a chance. Plus it has a decent charge rate, it just makes it so much of a beast. So you are wondering why are you comparing the Telesto to the loaded question? While the Reservoir Burst is very very interesting and although Bungie have thought this out to be a PvE weapon that won't stop people using it in PvP, when your battery is full the next shot or burst deals additional damage and causes enemies to explode upon death. Sounds pretty damn mean if you ask me. And the way Destiny 2 is right now, people like to run around in 2s or 3s, landing a shot on 1 could end all lives, plus this doesn't mention its charge time, nor mag size, or range, handling, stability etc etc. But because it's a pinnacle weapon, I guarantee you it isn't going to slack in any of these areas, that is for sure guys. And I know people will be saying, well, Reservoir Burst is only for that first shot of a full mag, but if you've got a mag size of 3, and you've got 18 reserves, you can just fire the first shot, get that extra damage and cause them to explode, and then reload and get it again, and you can do this for as many times as you've got bullets in reserve. So yes, have Bungie thought about this? I'm not too sure. So yeah people, out of all the three weapons Season 5 will offer, which are those pinnacle chases, I'm afraid of what the fusion rifles effect will be more so over PvP than the mountain tops, that is for damn sure. I can see now a legendary Telesto which will allow you to use another exotic weapon at the same damn time. Think about that for a second. And guys, on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps me out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Thanks as always for stopping by people and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.